camp here in the metro. Well, take your kids to the Everglades, sort of. Animal Wonders Camp in Lee Summit gives kids an opportunity to interact with exotic animals. And our Katie Farrell is live at Legacy Park Community Center with some reptile friends. Katie, That's right. Good morning. Today is Reptiles and Amphibians Day. Take a look at all these kids hard at work doing their craft project. Later, they're going to go outside. They're going to identify and find birds. And this week is all about being introduced to animals, learning about the animals, touching and feeling them. And I am joined by this dad and son team, Dan and Barrett Cowell. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having us. This is awesome. So you have this beautiful alligator here and this beautiful snake. The kids are going to name the snake later today. Yes, she's our newest animal. She came to us this weekend and uh, we're hoping that the kids will come up with a great catchy name and usually when a new animal comes in rescue or surrender wise, we let the kids help us pick out a name and they've done great. We've got several animals that they've named over the years. Wonderful. And you rescue so many of these animals. Animals that are hurt. Animals that people just can't take care of. Yeah, and there's a situation comes around where they can't find a home for it. You know, they see something that's exotic and they think it's really cool at first. They don't do the research and the newness wears off. They need to find a home for it. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of places for them to go and then they bring them on to us. And you know, we kind of run out of room. We don't have a lot of uh, room left for the animals. And we get usually a call a week for somebody wow. wanting to give, if not more than that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to talk more about that coming up. First of all, though, this is also about kind of getting rid of those misconceptions. So, Vera, can you run this demonstration? We tend to think, what, snakes are slimy? Yes, yes. Uh, you, you hear a lot of people say, oh, they're, they're shiny, so they must be slimy. When, in fact, humans are slimier than snakes. And, Vera, why don't you show them how slimy you are and just how slimy our corn snake is. So you're putting the snake in the sand, and, we, and when we pull the snake back out, it's really, it does, it's not covered with any sand at all. Nope. There's no sand on her. She's got some trap in her tail here, but other than that, it doesn't stick to her because she doesn't sweat. But no. then we, as humans, put our hands in, and what happens? Show them what you got there, son. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, and there's no sand on the snake. So, in fact, humans are slimier than snakes. One thing we'll do in class, too, is we'll find out who's slimier, boys or girls. Oh, I like that experiment. Okay. We'll, even. we'll see what happens. <laughs> I love that you're going outside. You've identified, what, 150 birds this week? We've got about 150 bird species that we've identified at the park, and the kids, we go out every day to try and identify different bird species. And uh, we teach the kids to learn the birds by sight, by sound. We go through bird mnemonics to find out. We'll go through that in class. We'll learn what the birds sound like, and then we go outside and uh, identify the birds. All right, so lastly, you rescue so many animals. They come to you, you try to rehab them, like uh, this snake here. She was in pretty bad shape, and it does cost a lot of money. Oh, alligator, pardon me. Um, so you, you are always looking for people if they want to help out, they can? Absolutely. Go to our website at animalwonders.net. They can visit us on Facebook at Animal Wonders KC. Well, there's also an Animal Wonders Montana, and they do a lot of the same things that we do as well. Um, they take in a lot of animals. Both of us are always needing help. If somebody can, you know, chip in, help us get a new cage or two, that'd be really great. great. And just as an example, uh, Willa, you didn't think she was going to make it. She came in, uh, she had been abused, and now she's thriving. And, you know, she can get to 12 feet long, so, wow. you know, we're looking for, you know, people that want to help us out. We can never release this animal to the wild. It's going to be a danger for somebody, it'd be a danger for her. So she's going to live the rest of my life with her, and then after I'm gone, Barrett's going right. to uh, He's already promised me. <laughs> animal wonders done and tell me, Eric, what did you tell me earlier? I said, what do you want to do when you get older? And you said, do exactly what my dad does. Oh. Oh, thanks, buddy. It just melts my heart. Do exactly what his dad does. That's exactly what this is about, teaching kids to love animals, nature, and the wild. It's pretty cool. Katie Farrell, Fox Morning is working for you live in Lee Summit. That is neat. Katie, thank you. Sweet. Thanks, sure. Katie. <laughs>